back to stylish Nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel thank you for your love for your support i appreciate each and every one of you that have supported me here on youtube I actually don't take it for granted thank you thank you so much so guys if you are new to the channel you're welcome if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video and then if you find this video helpful please i would appreciate if you hit on the like button it actually takes nothing for you to just like this video already okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this trendy lapel jacket so i actually posted it sometimes on my community and then i got a lot of um comments for people as in subscribers were asking for me to make the jacket so finally that's what we are going to learn how to cut and sew today it's a very beautiful trendy and cheeky jacket so guys let's get started so before we start if you want to register for my online classes which i normally run every month you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of all of the classes we have presently available so guys let's just get started straight into our tutorial for today okay guys so these are all of the materials that i'm going to be using for this um, female jacket so this is our fabric we have a damask fabric here i'm using about two years because why well, i'm using two years is because you know damask length is longer than ankara if you are going to use an ankara for this you're going to need about two and a half yards of fabric okay so this is my basic bodies i'm going to make it of our basic bodies and then i have my lining here and then i have satin that i'm going to use for the front part and then i have my interfacing so this is hair stay and then i have my paper stay so these are all the materials that i'm going to be making use of so the next thing now i'm going to draft on my paper so this is going this basic bodies i'm just going to use this for my back piece so i'll show you we're going to use this now to draft out the front part of the jacket okay guys so i'm going to start drafting now so you are going to we're going to determine i'm going to determine how much i want that front lapel to be so this is actually optional so for this i'm going to use about eight inches so from this edge of my pattern paper like this i'm going to make the other eight inches and then that eight inches i'm going to connect it to the down part of my I'm going to connect it to the down part so i'll just double check to make sure that what i have is eight inches so i'll connect it now with my marker so you can make it smaller you can make it bigger so it depends on what what you actually want so the next thing now i'm going to take my i'm going to add all of my measurements so this is actually my bust point, my under bust, my waist. So all of those measurements, I'm just going to include them on my pattern paper just to make it clear. Okay, so after marking them, so these are just my normal basic lines. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to mark, measure the length of my, of my jacket. So you can see if you notice it is a very long jacket so i have about 33 i'm going to make my jacket about 33 because my fabric i don't want the fabric not to be enough so i just make make it about 33 or 34 there about so i'm just going to mark it here like this on the down part of my pattern like this and then the next thing i'm going to do for the wideness so the bust area i want it to be like about 40 inches so i added one inch to it for my allowance and then the under bust also the same measurement and then the waist is a little bit wider by one inch so use your own desired measurement because this if you notice it's going to come like an a line that is not like a totally straight jacket so that's why i'm just trying to explain this so the next thing i'm just going to trace my i'm going to trace my measurement from my previous basic bodies so that's that so you can see what i have here so 
So this part is my neckline. So okay, for the neckline part, I'm going to draft the neckline is going to come all the way to this end end. So I'm just trying to So it just elongates the neckline like this to this point. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do now. So for this part, I'm going to cut this out now so you will understand what I am doing. So it does not get confusing. So the first thing we're going to do now, we'll cut out this neckline okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to take this pattern away and then i'm going to fold this inside so this part now is going to be my front pattern that's sorry this part now is going to this part now automatically this part is my back pattern so for me to break out the front pattern i'll open it like this so i hope you understand what i did i just used my basic pattern so this i could just do directly so i just want to make it a more professional way so that's why i use my basic pattern so in cutting out the front and lapel now so what you are going to put into consideration depends on how wide you want it to be that's your lapel where you want it to get to so from this neckline point, you are going to measure. So this is our, you remember, this is our bust point. So I'm just trying to place my pattern again to make sure. So this is our bust point. This is our under bust point. So we're going to use our under bust line as a guide for our lapel. So this is our under bust, this is bust, under bust waist, okay? So the next thing now, you are going to create a curve, depends on how you want your lapel to be. So this one is actually is something that is optional, that depends on what you want. So for mine, I noticed now I'm not going to leave it here, if I leave it here, it's not going to blend properly. So I'm still going to come down a little bit, okay? So I'll blend it into that part like that. So I'll measure and I want to measure and check. So I have it came to about 15 inches, which is still okay. So the next thing now on this part, I'm going to cut out this part. So I'll show you how to do that now. So it is a simple process. So the only difference between the back and the front is this part. This extra eight inches part, okay. So that's just the only difference. So at the end of the day, when you open up, this is what we are going to have. So here, I'm going to make sure I check out everything. If I feel it is too big, I can decide to like reduce it. And then the shape that I have here, if I don't like it. If I don't like this lapel shape, I can decide to do this. You understand? I can decide to trim it like this. So which I'm going to do. I think I don't really think I like what I have like that. So this is optional. So I'm just checking it to make sure it looks good before I transfer to my fabric. Okay. So I think I prefer this now. Yeah, so at the end of the day, this side is going to look, look like, and then the other one will be on this side. So the next thing I'm going to do now, for this part, I'm going to still reduce this part a little bit, that's this down part. So because if I don't reduce this part, it's going to cover. So but before I do that, I'm going to cut out the back piece first. So this I'm going to take out, place it on my back piece and cut out my back piece. So this is the wideness of my back piece. So I have about 15 inches here. So I'll cut this now on my fabric and then before I cut out the front. 
So we'll come back and reduce this part. Okay, so you can see I've cut out the back thing. So the next thing now, we're going to do our alterations on this front pattern before I cut out the front. So why I'm cutting out about two inches from here or 1.5 is if I don't cut it out, the, the jacket is going to lap at the front, but I don't want it to lap at the front. I want that front, the center of the front to be open. The only part I want to have the lap is where my lapel is. So that's the reason why I'm going to cut this off. But if you don't want to, in case you want to add buttons here, you don't even need to cut it. You Rather, you add to it. Okay. So I'm going to take... I'm going to measure this now. So I'm just going to take, about, take out about one inch. Like I said, a 1.5. So it's optional. So I'll connect that with my straight ruler. So I'm going to open this up back now. And then here's what we're going to have. So this part is going to look like this. So for instance, if this part, if you don't want it um, sharp, sorry, if you don't want it curved, for instance, maybe you want it straight or sharp, you can decide to just place your pattern. This part, you can actually do it however you want to do it, okay? So it depends on what you want. You can give it any shape of your choice. Okay, so I'm going to cut out that extra one inch that I added, that I'm, I'm subtracting now. I want this a little bit sharp, so... Okay, so I am. I think what I have is okay. I like what I have. I'm just trying to check it to make sure on my body since I'm using my size. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to transfer this now. So literally, this is the front pattern. So I'm going to cut out the front now, and then we continue. Okay guys, so I've finished cutting the front. So I had to reduce my lapel a little bit because I found out that my fabric, <laughs> my fabric was almost finished. So I had to just reduce the flap a little bit. So at the end of the day now, <clears throat> what we use now is about seven inches, okay? So I finished cutting, so this is how it looks like. So the next thing is for me to cut out my lining piece. So you can see, it looks beautiful already, so you can see, it looks so fine, we're not, we're not even done yet. So this uh, fabric is actually a two-faced fabric, but because of the nature of the tutorial, I'm just going to use the black inside anyway, okay? So I'm going to cut out all of my lining piece now, cut out all of my interfacing, and then I'll come back and show you after pressing them together. Okay guys, so I finished ironing all of my pieces, so you can see the fabric, so you can see I ironed my SD on it. So the next thing, I'm going to show you how we are going to stitch this, it is a very simple process. So I'll take my fabric piece, so this is the fabric. And then I'll take that, that's the back piece. And then this is the, this is the front piece. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to join them on the side side together. So I'll join it on the side like this. And then join this on the side. After joining the side, I'll turn it like this from the inside and stitch the armhole. So that's literally, this is what I'm trying to say. 
I'll take them from the wrong side. I'll join here and then join here. So I'll do the same thing that I'm doing here now. I'll do it to the lining also. And then I'll bring it back and show you how to form it. It's a simple process when you are doing an inseam finishing. Okay, guys, so you can see I finished coupling it. So you can see it's looking beautiful already. So this is my lapel. So for the front part of my collar, I had to use a satin because the lapel is going to open up. So I didn't want to use the regular lining. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take my lining like this. I'll turn it and then I'll turn. I'll just face the right side of my lining and the right side of my fabric piece together like this. So this is an easy way of doing this. So on the shoulder part, I'm just going to match the shoulder part together and then I'm going to stitch it all around. So I'll stitch every part of it. Let's just make sure I use the shoulder as guide, stitch and then stitch everywhere. So I, I'm just going to be left with the armhole. So once I'm done, I'll turn it out and then give it a good iron and then I'll bring it back and show you how it looks like. Okay guys, so you can see I finished stitching our jacket. So you can see the inside. So like I said, I use satin on this part. So we are almost done. The only thing that is remaining now is for us to sew our sleeve. I'm just trying to place it on my, on my mannequin and then we'll cut out the sleeve. So for the sleeve, I'm going to be using a basic sleeve pattern to do this. It is a simple um, process, okay? So I'm going to arrange it and then show you. Okay, guys, so for mine, I don't want the black to be too much on my own. So my own, the black um, fabric, I'm just going to put it at the tip of my sleeve. So that's what I want to do. So I'm just trying to check. So I'm going to take my basic sleeve like this. I'll place it and then... I will just adapt it. So I'll use my round sleeve measurement. Okay, let me just let me just do it directly for the sake of those people that don't know how to cut. So this is my round sleeve. So from this point, I'm just going to come down with about 4.5, and then I will just connect that 4.5 point to this point. So my round sleeve, my armholes rather is actually. 11 inches so i have 14 here which is okay so the next thing i'm going to measure the length so for this i have 18 inches here i'm going to add about three inches to the black okay and then the wideness of my sleeve i'm going to use about 10 inches so i don't want it slim you can see it is very wide it's a wide sleeve Okay, so I'm going to cut this out right now. I don't want much black. Okay, so here's what we have. And then, so I'm just going to add, like add black. So it depends on how many inches of black I want to add. So I am going to, like I said, I'm going to add just a little bit of about two or three inches black. So I'll do that and then come back and show you. Okay, so I finished turning with my lining. So like I said, I just turned it. So I'm going to fold it together now and then stitch it just like this. And then I'll fix it on the jacket and you will see the final look of how it looks like. Okay, guys, so at the end of the day, you can see how my jacket looks like. It actually came out fine my lapel jacket it came out really fine so guys if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends if you did the recreation send me a picture of it so i will see what you did with this tutorial thank you so much i'll see you in my next video